Hi, I'm Nana Gil and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of time. Imagine what we could do if I could control time. I could travel back into history to stop crimes before they happened. Pew, pew, pew! Or I could freeze time to stop baddies in their tracks. Or I could travel into the future to where I'm allowed to have another cookie. Just say. Okay, technically it's not fighting crime, but a superhero needs a treat now and then. And if I could control time, now and then would always become now, which is always cookie time. Okay, I need to stop thinking about my tummy and start thinking about using my brain. Because if I want to learn how to control time, I first need to understand what time is. There are lots of different ways that we can tell what time it is. You've probably seen a few different ones already. Digital clocks display really accurate time and can be constantly updated via the internet, so they never fall behind. Analog clocks, like this one, tell the time by which numbers their hands are pointing to. But what did we use before we could make clocks like these? Oh, Brian here. Oh, that's right, we used the sun. Why don't we build a sun clock to tell us when it's cookie time? For this experiment, you'll need card, a pencil, string, scissors, a ruler, a marker pen, and a little bit of blue tack. Sundials use the position of the sun to mark how much time has passed. Before humans had invented clocks, sundials were really useful for knowing what time of day it was. They work because the earth rotates on its axis. So as we see the sun move across the sky, the direction of the shadow that it casts changes. The first thing we need is the base or the dial plate of our sundial. Ours is going to be a circle. So measure and cut out 11 centimeters of string and hold it to the end of your pencil. Now take your card and put a small dab of blue tack in the middle and then you're going to put your string into that blue tack. So holding on to the pencil and holding on to the string, you're going to use it to draw a circle. Perfect. Now cut that circle out with your scissors. Okay, there we go. So we have our circle with the dot in the middle. Next, we're going to cut out our gnomon. This is the centerpiece of the dial that will cast a shadow and allow us to tell the time. So we're going to make a right angled triangle. And for this, we need to make sure that its base fits between the center of our dial and the edge of our plate. Now we know because our string was 11 centimeters long, that actually the radius is 11 centimeters long to our circle, which means we need an 11 centimeter right angle triangle. So I'm going to draw an 11 centimeter line across here, and then one straight up from that. And then I'm going to join these two points together to make a right angle triangle. I'm going to cut that out. There we go, a nice little gnomon triangle. So now we have our triangle, we're going to stick it onto our sundial. So take your blue tack and from the center make a little sausage shape and that's going to hold this down like this. So if you put this somewhere sunny, the sun will cast a shadow on the gnomon and onto the dial. And as the sun moves across the sky, the angle of the shadow will move. Now, because I'm in the lab, I'm gonna show you with a torch. So, let's pretend that this torch on my phone is actually the sun moving across the sky. You can see how, as it moves, the shadow moves across here. So when you set this up, find a sunny position and make sure that it stays in that same position all day. Once you've found your sunny place, note where the shadow is right at the start of the day and make a mark. So you want to be looking for the shadow of this upright edge here, which on a sundial is called the style, because it's styly, I reckon. Come back to it each hour and mark the position of the shadow as it moves around the base. You could actually use this to mark your daily routine. So when you get up in the morning, when you might take your shower, when it might be snack time. Okay, time for the moment of truth. This is a sundial that I made earlier 
where I mark the times that I am allowed to have a cookie. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Now, no, 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 girl. Watch this as I use the power of this torch to control time. Oh look, it's cookie time. Hold on. <gasps> it's cookie time again. What's that, Nana Nana girl? I'm cheating. Eh, okay, it's got a sundial, not a torch style. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I guess I will just have to put the sundial outside and wait patiently. Still waiting. Okay, well, while I'm waiting, I will see you all tomorrow for more superhero science. Right, time to put this in the garden. I better stop by the kitchen to get a cookie on the way. Just in case, it's cookie time. A superhero is always prepared, you know. See you later.